We had to intro here. Look at the sky. Oh my goodness. A year ago today, James's embryo was thawed and put inside my belly and he stuck around. So we're celebrating. And now he's stuck with us. Yes. We're going to California Grill for dinner tonight. I feel like we're going to order one of everything on the menu. <laughs> but look at this little baby. Just a year ago, you were the size of a period on a piece of paper. Yeah, it's just a few hundred cells. And now, science. It's rare that we approach the contemporary like this. We're just strolling around until we can check in. Little one is Tighten it now. We got a new microphone. We sure do. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. We don't we, we don't mind if you're awake, honey, but you if you gotta take a nap, you gotta take a nap. Oh dear. Look at this beauty. I'm just always in awe whenever we walk the dock back towards contemporary of how it's just like beautiful all this is, especially right now during like the end of golden hour. This is exactly the place we waited last time we came to California Grill. And he was just in my tummy. Well, we were actually kind of hoping that Sarah could nurse James a little bit before we went up to the table, but this is the quickest we've ever checked in and had our room ready, or not room ready, I wish. <laughs> our table ready at California Grill, so we're gonna get packed up, drop our stroller off, because I think it stays down here. And then head up for another feast. <laughs> Here is the beautiful view. We just missed sunset, but this is actually the booth that we first sat in. Where you can see the castle over there. A little bit of red from the sunset, but this whole booth to ourselves. Sarah's getting ready to have dinner with James. Looking good. Are you a little emotional now at this dinner already? Yeah. When we walked in and like saw the castle and everything, I was like, just tugging at my heartstrings. We're gonna eat a lot tonight. I might even get the wagyu. Oh, I don't know. 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 I thought you were gonna get it, so I wasn't gonna have to. I want ravioli. We're gonna see how long he lasts here asleep between us. But we think we're gonna order an, 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 a really absurd amount of food from California Girl. Not that much, just sushi, one appetizer. And then our entrees. And, our yeah. and a dessert. Oh my goodness, we don't have to share. We got this when we were here when we stayed at Bay Lake Tower over the summer, and it is so good. And plant based. And totally plant based. I don't remember those little pickles. So the bread comes with this sun-dried tomato oil. And some quarantine sourdough mm. bread. <laughs> oh, look at that singular ravioli with the crust on top. <gasps> I'm so glad we got this to share. Oh. Oh. It looks amazing. This is like on all the food blogs or people that have like eaten this, like this is the most like raved about. Yeah, like suggested. We like, also got another. We also got another basket of bread coming. Is it delicious? Everything you hoped for and dreamed. 
Why is it so good? We've had goat cheese many a times before. Also, here's the button. <laughs> Still out. It must be some of the sauce, too. All right, I'm gonna dive in. So I got the pork tenderloin. It's on polenta. And it also has sausage. Looks super good. And Peter got the grouper. Do you think this is a press pot? It's not. It's pressed Earl Grey loose leaf too. Ooh, they're fancy. It's off menu. I was talking to, to our server and I was like, do you like the, the, uh, the, English, breakfast. the English breakfast? And he was like, honestly, I, I just like Earl Grey. I'm a pretty big. I was like, I love Earl Grey. He's like, we have it back there off menu. I was like, can I? And he was like, yeah. All right, here's a delicious looking creme brulee. And Mark, our server, got us these delicious looking candies because we're moving. And it's like a, it's a farewell treat. Wow. This is about to be in four seconds. Really good. I need to get in comfies. We're right like, away. we ate a lot, but it was like nice and spaced out, but now we're like. The more we sat here waiting for like the RT and the bill, the more the rice Give is. Me my jammies. Every piece of rice and pasta and is expanding in our stomach, and I need to get home and get in the elastic pants. And uh, our child's head weighs like half his body weight. My arm is broken. just has to check the catheter to make sure that the embryo is not in there, but embryo just went in right there. Ready for him? Oh. We used to be best buddies, and now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. We are home and Evie's excited to see us. I did want to point out I wore my sunflower dress today. We had sunflowers in our pregnancy announcement and we used sunflowers a lot in our posts about our IVF cycle, so I thought it was perfect. We're home and I don't know if James is big enough. I feel like he's gonna be just finding this within either right now or within the next like week or two. But I think I'm going to open the Jolly Jumper out of the box. It says three months to walking age, but in reality, it, it's all about like the developmental support that they a child has with their, their head and neck and everything, which he's been rocking and rolling, so kind of interested to see how this puts together. It might just be out of the box, honestly. But let's check it out. Been watching comedians in cars getting coffee. Someone is not a lick tired. Lift up that foot. And mom is uh, sleeping on the couch over there. So we're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, he's sleepy. Something cool about being a parent is I miss this little guy all day. Work was crazy. I was in meetings from the start of the day till 5, 15, and then we had to get out the door to, to dinner. And he was sleeping most of that. So what do I get to do? Sarah's asleep. He's wide awake. It's late, and we could go to bed. But I'm going to milk this as his dad and just spend some James and Peter time. So... Pretty fun. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> really? Is that a delicious hand? But I'll ask all things, all good things must come to an end. It's 12.30 in the morning and it would be irresponsible to stay up any later. Today is this day here. Though it is not marked, it is Wednesday. Today's quote is by Eric Roth. For what it's worth, it's never too late or in, in my case too early to be whatever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can be the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And tonight I made the best of eating really good food. And tonight we say... What? Wait, I want to say something real quick. Um, You've been sleeping. Yeah, I'm tired. Um, have you ever watched the show Getting Coffee with Comedians and Cars with Jerry Seinfeld? There's like... There's... There's like in between music, and it's the same music from Must Do Disney. Stacy. And we like hear it, we're like, what is it? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>